Hey guys, welcome to Memoirs of a Gamer. It's me, Nick. I'm just testing a new mic out today, so I don't know if it's going to be too loud or not. Can you see I've got it clipped on? Because we've been having nothing but sound trouble uh, since I started setting this all up, and especially when I've been trying to do the unboxing videos, it's been tinny as hell. So the last few days, I've been resorting this room, so I'm trying to get the lighting right. I've made myself see the brick wall behind me, a little space, so I can pull the little games couch out and I can film against that brick wall rather than trying to do it in the living room which has been an absolute nightmare because I've been literally sat on the floor. So uh, this live stream, well, this was supposed to be a live stream, but I thought I would do a little recording instead because um, I mentioned the other day I wanted to do a spin-off of this channel, like a little subsection with a little folder called Diaries of a Nobody. And um, I'm literally, I wanted to talk about myself obviously um i wanted to talk about my experience living with a chronic illness which chronic means it never goes away it's just a long time and uh my chronic illness is depression and i know you hear that a lot these days everyone goes oh i'm so depressed and it's like well are you, are you really depressed though it's having a bad day you know what i mean don't want to be gatekeeping or anything but a lot of these people who say they're depressed they're not they're just having a shit week because real depression it's it fucking kills you. It's literally, it's crippling. I have had depression f since I was about 15 and I wake up every day depressed, no matter what's happening, no matter what I'm doing, if I'm laughing or if I'm crying, if I'm jumping out of a plane, I don't know if I was doing anything, I'm always still depressed. It never goes away, ever. And all I can do is manage it. And the way I try and manage it is I try and exercise. I try and keep away from stuff that I know is going to make me like over over stimulated and make me depressed or pull me down or like think it just things like that. And I found like the older I've got, the easier it's become to kind of manage because you learn your own behaviours and you learn what to avoid and you you learn that when you get up in the morning and you lay there and you want to just lie there and not move because you're so depressed that you need to force your ass out of bed to get up and go to the gym or you need to just get going because it's part of the struggle is it's mentally. So you'll wake up and you'll feel heavy and you'll feel down and you'll feel like you just don't want to move. And, and it's literally the same every day. Every day is like Groundhog Day. You wake up and you're exactly the same. It's like perfect reset. You never get up and jump out of bed and go, oh, what an amazing day today. I've got this and this to do. You wake up every morning and you're like a sack of shit and you lay there and you're thinking, why am I alive? Why do I have to go through this all the time? And then you've got to get yourself going. Um, one of the things I found that helps me is since I started um, putting a calendar on the wall, like a big year calendar, and I've started, this was two years ago when I started doing the working out and stuff, I started putting my um, workouts on the calendar. And when I did that, I started to see patterns. So I've got what's called, called manic depression. So basically I can be up one minute and down the next, but usually the downs will be like, the downs are last months and the ups are last hours, minutes or days. And then it just goes when you're down, you're down. When you're up, you're up. There's like, there's no in between. So most of the time I'm down and it's just, it's just the way it is. But I noticed a pattern that when I was doing um, a calendar on the wall, I could see that every six weeks for me, I'd go down. So I'd get into a gym routine. Everything would be going good. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm getting better. And then I go boof for no reason and crash and then that was it i'd be out for the count for another four five six seven weeks sometimes months and then i'd get drag my ass back up again and then as i get in the routine again every six weeks boof it's like it, it's like an internal body clock i suppose the only thing i compare it to is it must be like do you like women have a cycle like men or, or hormones or something in your body must have a cycle and my cycle seems to be like every six weeks that i just go bush no matter what's happening it's weird but uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that a bit more today, because um, I know everyone's suffering at the moment. You can speak to everyone and everyone's got some form of anxiety or depression or whatever. But, I mean, everyone's got shit going on in their lives, pulling them back. And it's, it's fucking hard. It's hard for everyone. And then you've got the people, like people who are like me who've got who are depressed, who've got people around them who obviously suffer because they're trying to help you. But then you pull them down so you feel even more depressed for pulling them down it's like a vicious circle it's awful but i just wanted to put this out there anyway because i know it's 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 
it's really hard to talk about. I am pretty private. I've never spoken about this. Not not like online or anything like that. I don't even even on my private Facebook with my family and friends and stuff. I, I don't put anything about me being depressed. This is the first time I've put it on the internet. So yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a big deal for me. But I was just about to sit down and do this Tomb Raider live stream and I thought I feel so fucking depressed. I thought I don't think I don't think I know if I can be asked. Do you know what I mean? But because I'm trying to keep this channel going and I want to try and post something every day at least because I want to try and get a bit of a bit of a following, you know what I mean? I don't want to be sat here just talking to 10 people. I want it to matter that I'm putting all this time and effort into it. So I thought, put me head on block and put me put, let, put this out there so people can see that not, not everyone's alone. You know what I mean? People suffer, especially men. Men suffer in silence, which is worse. And I've got so many friends who've killed themselves who were men, straight men mainly, and, and gay men. Women seem to talk about the emotions more, but men definitely bottle it up. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I've recorded it. Will I post this? Don't know. We'll see. But I feel a bit better for talking about it. So I might post it and then I'm going to go and try and do this bloody Tomb Raider level, which I know is going to stress me out. <laughs> so um, if this helps anyone, good. Um, honestly, feel free to comment underneath. I'll, I'll chat in the, in the comments. I've not got that many followers that I won't see people rep uh, replying to this. Um, like and subscribe because there'll be more of this sort of stuff as well. Me bearing my soul. So yeah, cheers everyone.